Life gets easier as you get older. Maybe? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, If I Survive You. This book was written by Jonathan Escoffrey. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature short stories. So this book is really funny to read, okay? You got smoke coming off of a match. You got flat tires. And it follows the characters Trulani, Delano, and Cookie, okay? This book was all about if I survive you. For Trulani, I believe that you is himself. He had to get over himself. He had to get over being the second born. He had to get over the loss of his family, right? Being a child of divorce, not getting the house, all of that stuff. Delano, I believe that if I survive you, is if he survived his father. All the pressures his dad put on him, the pressures to be this great man. And then if I survive you for Cookie was all about surviving his dad. His dad was foul. You go through some times where he goes back home to be with his dad and you're like, okay, he's teaching him how to fish. He's teaching him how to get all this stuff. And then you get a surprise later, okay? And so Trelawney makes some friends when he gets older. And one of the friends is this Asian American in school with him. And she goes, I guess I just feel too privileged to not be white, right? She wasn't saying that she wanted to be white, but she just was like, why doesn't the class part of my lifestyle and my heritage count for more than just my color, count for more than just my race, my designation. And so that part is really important to the book because Trulani goes through this entire identity crisis where he's like, I'm brown, but I'm not black, right? I'm Jamaican. People always wanna know why does your mom talk like that? but I'm also not the terrible black people that I see my neighbors and my family members talking about. So he was stuck in between, privileged enough to not be a black American, but not so privileged that everyone else in the world saw him as being this immigrant with this diverse culture, diverse heritage. So he was really stuck in this really weird place. And then he eventually goes to college where he ends up being the token black boyfriend for a lot of girls. You get to a part later in the story where he just is desperate for money and ends up these Craigslist ads and you're just like, Trulani was finding himself and searching for who he was in the entire book. So while you're here, go on and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna hear me talk about more books like this, more books written by Jamaican American authors, go on and subscribe to the channel. So If I Survive You is all about whether these young adolescents can crawl and scratch their ways up to getting some little bit of success so that they can find themselves, respect themselves, and realize that they have made it through a hellish ordeal and now they're on the other side, okay? So If I Survive You was really great. It's It was a bunch of really short stories put together, but they were all about the same characters and they were all about identity. All right, so now let's get to the last point, which is would I reread this book? This one, I would not reread it. Okay, my criteria on rereading a book is if I would miss the characters, if I'd wonder what they were doing in a couple of years, and I wouldn't do that necessarily. Trelawney, Delano, and Cookie were great characters, but no, I would not reread this book, all right? So thank you for hanging out with me as we discuss the book, If I Survive You. Okay, so let me know. Have you read anything by Jonathan Escoffrey? Or do you enjoy coming of age books where characters are trying to find their identity, find their place in the world? Okay, so I appreciate you for spending your time with me today. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.